What's your favorite part car culture. of car culture? I mean, I have to just say the community and everyone comes around and gets together and we all talk shop and, you know, just sharing each other's passions in different forms like, you know, American, JDM, Euro, and it all meshes well pretty, pretty good together. Not only the community, but like the variety. Not everyone's into like the same things. And everyone always has respect for each other and like each other's cars. And I feel like that's the best part about it. All right, do you have a least favorite part? Something that you do not like about car culture? I think sometimes people just take it too far where they have, you know, ridiculous sideshows and people get hurt. I think if it's like a right time and place, you can go ahead and do some donuts and swing it. But, you know, takeovers and intersections are pretty dangerous. Do you eat in your car? Always. But no one else can, just me. No one else can, <laughs> but you. Um, what is the ugliest or worst car that you personally ever owned? Oh, easy. My sister's car. She has a juke. That thing is terrible. <laughs> On top of that, we had a Pontiac Aztec for like about a year. <laughs> oh, that yeah. thing is hideous. The worst, ugliest car oh, my made. Gosh. <laughs> What's your favorite part of car culture? Ooh, I think it's just the sharing of everything. Like you could talk to someone about their car and they have a wealth of knowledge and you can learn. There's just never, you, there's always something more to learn. You never stop. Worst car I've driven, uh, I've driven up some clapped out Volkswagens when I worked there. Just Beetles with running on three spares and barely, running is a strong word, stuff like that the coolest place or most interesting place that you have wound up in a car? Tail of a Dragon, definitely. It's hard to complain, one of the most famous roads in the US, just some friends from Atlanta. Just had no money, six of us in a hotel room, just go on this one road. But worth every penny of my two days wages to share a hotel room with six people. What's your least favorite part, if you have one? Uh, probably all the purists, you know, just trying to make everything a certain way when in reality people should just do whatever they want, you know. Um, if you could only drive one car, and that car only, for the rest of your entire life, what would it be? Maybe like a first gen R8 with the manual. You know, practical, comfortable, still fast. That'll work. What would you say is your favorite part, if you have one, of car culture? Something you really like about car culture? Yeah. Well, probably uh, yeah, sharing it with, with other people, you know, going to events like these, uh, and driving, of course. Mm -hmm. Do you have a least favorite part of car culture? Cleaning the car? <laughs> probably. Do you clean your own car? Uh, yeah, I do. What's the worst part about cleaning the car? Glass, like windows. They're never perfect. I guess like if every time you see like a car that's like like in the community you would have some value and like people don't take care of it, it's always a bit sad. But I guess everyone has the reasons to it. It is an expensive hobby, so understandable. The girl of your dreams comes to get in your car with a bag of chips. It's first date. What are you doing? <laughs> So well, she's right behind you taking photos right now, there. and yeah. I've allowed her to eat chips in the car, so yes, that's the 
short on, but she's yeah, still yeah. still here.